welcome back to bitfumes and we are on the intervention image manipulation package and in this episode we are going to talk about the image filters and why we need these filters so you can see here we are having an image of tesla car which is so big and then we are doing three things fitting on 1024 blurring to 10 and grayscale so we have this result but every time you want these three steps to be repeated, you need to again copy and paste or write once more. We are developer, we don't want to repeat ourselves. So we are going to create a filter which is going to do these steps instead of writing it again and again. How this is going to work? On this intervention package, we have image filters. So we need to create a new file called anything you want and then implement filter interface that's very important and it must have apply filter function and then we need to use image filter and new filter so let's create our filter our own filter okay so i will go on app and create a directory called helpers inside helper i will say image filter.php then create a php tag giving a namespace of app helpers and then i will say class image filter which implements filter interface and because we have used this interface this interface is saying you must have this apply filter function okay so in this class create a function called apply filter and this apply filter interface take image as the uh, parameter and here we are okay so this is very very easy and this image has to be actually uh, intervention image image so let's use this here so we have done that and now we can do whatever you want with this image so how we can call this image filter here we are and let's close it i will say image then filter new image filter and that's it so we need to just comment this out and what we are going to do firstly we return the image we are not doing anything we are just calling this filter but there is no filter actually so let's see what's the result refresh this page so there is no error we are returning the same file hmm. this means now we can do the things so we have these three filter we want to apply so just cut this from here and then i will go here and paste it so this means now because we have the instance of image we can do fit we can do blur then grayscale and because we are calling this filter here it will going to apply everything refresh this page and as soon as we done with that we are having all these three filters applied at once so now whenever you want to filter these sets you just need to call image filter also you can extend the functionality because here we are saying blur is 10 and now we can create a constructor so i will say construct and then i can get the value from the external world so initially it will be null so i will create a private blur and a constant of blur val it is 10 actually so i will say this dot blur is equal to and check if we have the blur return that otherwise give the self blur well okay and this means now instead of this 10 i can simply say this arrow blur okay so now we are uh, having the functionality which extend this uh, image so for now if we refresh it is having a blur of 10 by default but we can say make it blur of 50 it is taking too much time to make this blur and now we have the blur with the value of 50 we can also do the same thing with the fit part so you have seen that it is very very efficient way of writing the filters and we are having a power of making the functionality dynamic as well as we are not repeating ourselves with the same set of functions we need to apply on the image so this is all about the intervention filter but as we know to blur this image intervention take lots of time
and every time we want to have this every time i refresh it it takes same amount of time because it is processing again and again we don't want this if we want the same functionality same set of uh, uh, filters we are going to use in the next episode caching so that we uh, we don't want to apply filter same filter again and again so in the next episode talk about the caching with the intervention till then what you need to do hit the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe it is very important mandatory for you share this video with your friends and don't forget to like bitfilms on facebook twitter instagram linkedin and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye